when I first met with you in April, I had a lot going on and I wasn't compartmentalizing and making priorities, but I'm still excited that I took the class from May to October because it put things in my brain and helped me prioritize myself as well as working on getting things prioritized with the three kids which I think has helped with the transition as we talked last week. School never has been a good transition. And I realize now everything falling into place at this point has been just a blessing. Ainsley's in college. I don't know if you remember, I was so worried in May with her going to college, where our relationship was, the conflicts we were struggling with at home. I was blessed with having three very strong-willed children at different degrees and with your pillars, putting that in to perspective, we were at such a disconnect because I became a reactive parent. I worked so hard to not be a reactive parent. We had a lot going on, you know, with graduation, party, getting ready, like tensions were high. I was so worried going through the summer of where my relationship would be with her because we were fighting, like it was just cats and dogs and constant bickering. So we were battling. And now she calls me, she just wants to talk. And it's such a different relationship. Now she's got the abilities to spread her wings more so than she could have in our controlled chaos at home. I think with learning the different aspects of the pillars and seeing how I could divide it between each of the kids and their unique personalities really made that transition easy with her leaving. What made it simple for you? What gave you the ability to find something that works for the four of you? Yeah, I think what it really is, is prioritizing myself. I've gone through a lot of trauma, but working through that and becoming a parent and separating myself from the toxic parent I had and learning a new way of parenting, which for me was hard because if you don't know a different way of parenting, you're literally learning from scratch. And not only are you learning, you're putting your child through that difference of learning. And with my oldest, she was in the midst of that. When I disconnected from the toxic parent, she was almost seven. And so she was in the midst of that for a good six and a half years. We've had to learn together on that one. I just turned 47 this month and started a group. And it was the realization that it is the year of parenting two kids with special needs, parenting all three of them with mental health on top of my own mental health. I realized this year in order to help my family and in order to parent the three different personalities I have, I had to prioritize myself. I've seen you do that. Thank you. It's hard when you cut out that toxic parent, even though I did that 11 years ago, it's still, I didn't realize how much the trauma affected every aspect until recently. That prioritizing myself has been a huge, almost like I opened the curtains or opened the blinds. It was like that big light bulb moment. Like there's freedom in it. Yeah. Yeah. With that freedom, what's coming next? I'm excited to start taking in and really working on the next section with the pillars. I'm starting journaling. I'm a slow processor. And so really having the opportunity to do it again, I think is really a big thing to let it really process. Yeah, I agree. Uh, It's set up in this way where there's the eight week live cohort paired together with six months of parent coaching community membership so that you have this experience of learning the tools or for in your situation, the second time through will refresh you on the tools and you'll start hearing things and go deeper in the ways you hadn't heard it the first time. And they're designed that way because it's not like, oh, if you have a six-year-old and you need to get them to bed, do this. I would call them principles. Like the pillars are principles rooted in 
how do we find calm? How do we get rhythm? How do we get collaboration? How do we have more happy chemicals and less fire bouncing off the walls in our home? And with the chaos, I call it a controlled chaos in my house, you know, three different (laughs) kids. I parent three different ways and we have to have a cohesiveness And now I'm having to learn to parent two kids with the third one being off. Like, has it all been easy in the last six months with implementing things? No, I think our easiest thing we've been able to implement was the morning routine. Honestly, it's really all on my youngest guy to take the initiative. And I'm so proud of him. We've been struggling our evening routine. He doesn't sleep the best. Being autistic, we hit moments where he cannot calm down. He's been sleeping out in the living room or down in our family room. He won't sleep in his room. He started wanting nature sounds on my phone upstairs. And that led into, well, how about we buy you a sound machine that we can put in your room? what would you like your sound machine to have? He's like, but I want a nightlight. Even though out in the living room, he sleeps with zero lights on in his bedroom. He has to have a nightlight. He went on Amazon and he helped me pick something out. Now we've been implementing that Hmm. into his nightly routine. He goes to bed, not when I want him to, it's later, but he'll still go and put himself to bed. But he took the initiative on that one, stating what his needs are. And that's a huge accomplishment for him. Yeah, for sure. There's not just acting out behaviors. He's able to start talking it out and have that self-awareness. Yeah. I think that what you're doing in your group program is amazing. I'm so glad you and I get to continue working together. Have a wonderful day and I'm sure I'll see you again soon. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye.